you there will be no hand counting of ballots at the precinct because precincts are going to disappear if the county decides to do that. So I know there are people out there who are going to want to set up groups to talk to the board of supervisors of their specific county and say, don't. Mm -hmm. Don't what? Don't go to vote centers and vote by mail. Retain the precincts. Mm -hmm. Keep the precincts because we think certain things that are happening. This is going to be a county level right. action, not state. Because the counties will decide. And they also, by 450, then if they do this, they have to have hearings in detail about their plans for this. And you're going to want to get involved for how your county runs your elections. And this is county-level organization. So getting organized by county is becoming even more important because that's how we do it in California. Right. Mm -hmm. right. We'd like to work to be part of changing how we do it yes. in California. We would like um, consistency across counties. We would like, <laughs> yes, let's all pray. Uh, let's all assume the lotus position and pray for this. Mm -hmm. um, we would like to be part of the movement here in California <laughs> where um, we can institute um, best practice protocols going across all counties. What works best in Humboldt County um, might work well in San Diego as well. What works um, well in San Francisco County uh, will probably work well in every county as well. So we can do this, California. We can come together and we can demand um, best practice protocols. Um, a lot of people have problems with using the term standardize the system. But what we are looking for, what we are begging for, is a set of standards that can be implemented in every county that every voter can count on, especially election integrity activists who become ballot count monitors and expect that have a, they need a certain level of expectation, they have a certain level of expectation of what should be happening. And we should not have to separate this into 58 different sets of information. It's um, convoluted and it is a strategy of insidious demise. When you do not have um, a system that you can count on, that you can learn, um, asking people from 58 different counties to do 58 different things is a formula for disaster, and we see how that played out in the 2016 primary. So folks, thanks again for tuning in. This is Ballots for Bernie. We are live streaming here at Next Base in Berkeley with um, vote warrior Lori Grace from um, TrustVote.org. We invite you to go to Lori's website, um, TrustVote.org. Check out the lawsuits that are in play right now. Be an election integrity activist. Advocate for democracy. Come and join us. Be a part of this. We need your donations. We need your time. We need your interest. We need you to share this live stream and other live streams on your pages. We need to keep this issue of election integrity at the forefront of our Bernie supporters um, list of things to do. This needs to be at the top. So Jim, Lori, thank you again for um, sharing with us your wealth of knowledge. Um, and thank you for folks at home for being a, a part once again of this Ballots for Bernie live stream. We got started a little bit late today. Mm -hmm. Folks, we are raw here at Ballots for Bernie, but we are proud. And we are moving forward with demanding transparency in the system. And we want to thank you for being a part of it. Okay, thank you so much. We'll see you next week.